And what's up, Canes fans? It is the Beast, Brian London. Welcome back to the channel, The Beast On, and welcome back to Canes football, or whatever the hell that was that we watched this afternoon from Atlanta. All right, let me set the scene real quick so you can just digest this all before I get to the game. Um, I'm in the position of how I feel right now, which is just laying in a bed. Uh, still have the, the Canes jersey on. Yeah, yeah, still have that on. Did take off the turnover chain that I have. Um, that came off early in the game. Because, um, like, you know, why even throw that on if you're going to play like that? Uh, and as you notice with the uh, generic artwork on the wall and the uh, generic curtains... Um, I'm in a hotel, um, but literally uh, very close to my house. And that is because the house is being tented for termites. Yay. Ha 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 Um, So that's fun. That's fun. It's good times. And... Um, if you hear barking, it's because the dogs are on the other side of that door. Also, if you hear screaming and yelling and, and excitement, it's because my, my wife, who's a, a Gator fan, and the kid who is, I don't know what he is at this point as far as fandom, um, goes, they're on the other side of that door watching Gators FAU. So I'm in here uh, in the bedroom aspect of the hotel. They're in the... Uh, the living room, foyer, bathroom part of the hotel. And uh, that's that's where we are. All right. Um, notice I'm just speaking nice and calmly. Uh, the dog is barking. It's not bothering me. Nothing's bothering me right now. You know why? Uh, not only did I consume a lot of alcohol during that game. Not really a lot. I had three drinks. But... Um, but I took a great nap after it was over. Just a nice, wonderful nap. And I woke up um, after that nap just like, meh, whatever. It is what it is. You know why? Because it, it just looked the same. It looked the same. Now, you can say to yourself, well, it was just Alabama. It's like an exhibition game. They're on a different level. You're expected to lose. Vegas thought you were going to lose by, you know, around 20. Um, you lost by, you know, a shade more than that. It is what it is. Blah, blah, blah. And you can have that, and maybe you do, but it's, I think it's, the way in which the team, our team, the team, the Miami Hurricanes, came out to play, where they just look ill-prepared, um, horribly coached, unable to tackle, no offensive line. Um, they did it just like. It was the same, like, they, they, they brought back all these players from last year. And guess what? It looked like last year. And yes, I understand that you're supposed to look not so good against Alabama unless you're, you know, an SEC uh, type of team or a, a Clemson or what have you. I get that, different level. But still, you shouldn't look like you just... Like, it wasn't just there at a different level. It was you were just ill-prepared. And that sucked. That sucked. Because I, I guess it's because I expected the game to look somewhat like this. Miami keeps it somewhat close in the beginning because they come out with a bunch of juice and excitement and they, they've, they've really worked the entire offseason and really put in all the work that we read about and 
um, just were just were really into it, and the first half was close, and then in the end, in the second half, Alabama pulls away. But that's not what we got, and I'm sorry for the shaking camera. Instead, what we got was it looks like Miami literally hadn't practiced since losing in a bowl game. Uh, showed up to a game. Alabama is Alabama. You suck for a first half. And then in the second half, um, Alabama just goes into, we just want to get through this game mode. Uh, we'll put in some backups and we just want to get out of here. Um, after, you know, sustaining some more injuries, we just want to get out of here without more injuries and get through this. That's what the game looked like to me. And that's what was disappointing. Um, you know, again, not being able to tackle. Again, a targeting call gets one of your best players knocked out of the game. Um, I don't care whether you agree with the rule or don't agree with the rule. That's the rule. And it just seems like every game Miami's got somebody thrown out of the game because of targeting. Yes, it wasn't Amari Carter. Yay for him. Um, but it was Bubba Bolden. And it's like, boys, can we just learn how to tackle? Well, can we just learn how to tackle? Let's start there. And if, once we learn how to tackle, can we learn how to tackle without using our head? Because whether we agree or disagree with the rule and everything that goes along with it, it's illegal. So let's learn to do it correctly. And that was disappointing. The offensive line, I mean, Scaife missed on a block. And I nearly threw the hotel TV out of the window. Just horrible play on the offensive line at times, which really hindered De'Ara King and the running game. And then the play calling, I mean, I don't know. Uh, Rhett Lashley was supposed, I was so stoked about Rush La Rhett Lashley. And now, I mean, here we are, we're at the point where it's third and seven and you call a run play, and you basically show that you've got no testicles, no, you're a eunuch. You're just playing like a eunuch. And for your kids, just go look up what a eunuch is. And that's what the coaching was. Just no testicular fortitude, as the mad dog Jemadich used to say. And that is a dated reference, and that's sad to me. And defensively, you know, <laughs> defensively, you allowed a quarterback for Alabama that didn't have very much experience set a record for first-time starters for Alabama in both touchdowns and yards. That's what you did defensively. Guys were wide open. Um, receivers were wide open. Bryce Young had tons of time. He could do, he could sit and knit a sweater back there and tons of time. And they ran the ball and they utilized their tight end. And yeah, great. I mean, the best thing, again, it comes down to the best thing about this game for Miami and the phone's ringing because I'm guessing that the pizza, my son somehow, I, I, I'm not gonna throw chains out there, but my son is into a certain chain that is delivering them pizza and that's what that is. I'm guessing, back to the game. Um, you just, I mean, you hate to see it. Evidently, my, my family doesn't know how to pick up a phone. Um, lost my train of thought. It's okay. I'll get it back. Um, yeah, the best thing about your team was your punter and your kicker. Which is great. First, I mean, thank God Lou Headley's in his 27th year. Um... And another Borigalis brother 
comes to play the University of Miami. And that's great. And here we are talking about the best things about the team are the punter and the kicker. Doors opening. My wife is laughing. Um, I told them I was recording. They still didn't matter. They still opened the door. Anywho. All right, on to Appalachian State. I mean, here's the thing. It's very simple. Maybe this team goes 10 and, and two or 11 and one or, or what have you, and you forget about this game and um, you move on and you get better and you're, and, you're, and you're getting closer to what we want it to be. And if that's the case, that I will go back at the end of the season and say, Beast, you were wrong in that first video you did from a hotel room while your house was being tented by termites. Um, or we can go back to this video at the end of the season and say, you know what? I knew then it was going to be indicative of what this team was going to look like for the rest of the year, and that's where we are. So, no, I didn't feel I needed to get the Pepto-Bismol out for this one. I'm not going to scream and yell. But it could definitely be trending that way. You cannot show up to a game ill-prepared for your competition. You cannot show up to a game and not know how to tackle. You cannot show up to a game and not know how to block. You can't show up to a game and go targeting again. You just can't. I don't care who the opponent is. You can't do that. All right, that'll do it for me. Ah, oh, we're back. It's college football season. I'm going to go try to find a game that's worth watching because the one I just watched with Miami and Alabama wasn't. I'll see you when I see you. Peace.